Tonight, I am going to read to my beautiful granddaughter, It Looked Like Spilt Milk by Charles G. Shaw. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes it looked like a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. Sometimes it looked like a bird, but it wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looked like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Sometimes it looked like a flower, but it wasn't a flower. Do you know what it is? Sometimes it looked like a pig. Nope, it wasn't a pig. Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake. Blow out the candle, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Sometimes it looked like a sheep, but it wasn't a sheep. Any ideas, Minnie and Care Bear? Sometimes it looked like a great horned owl, but it wasn't a great horned owl either. Hmm. Sometimes it looked like a mitten. Oh, a mitten to keep my hands nice and warm. But it wasn't a mitten either. Oh, sometimes it looked like a squirrel. We love squirrels. They're so fuzzy and friendly. Oh, man. But it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like an angel but it wasn't an angel. And angels are so beautiful in the sky. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk. Do you spill your milk sometimes? I spill my milk quite often, actually. But it wasn't spilt milk. It was just a cloud in the sky. See the cloud? Did you remember all the things that a cloud can look like? An angel, a birthday cake, a flower, a beautiful bird. I've even seen clouds look like rabbits. And do you know, sometimes I've even seen a cloud look like Minnie and a Care Bear. So the moral of our story is, if you look up in the sky at all the beautiful clouds and use your imagination, something that's just a cloud can turn into a birthday cake or even a pig. So tomorrow when you go outside, take a look up at the sky and pick out a cloud and you call Grandma and tell me what your cloud looks like. Good night, Princess. I love you.